I'm super proud of you, bub. I'm super proud of you. Love you, Dad. I love you, too. I'll see you when you get back. I will. All right, bud. We'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. There's always highs and there's always lows, and it seems like the lows make the highs that much better. It's just unbelievable, man. I like the sound of that. First time I've had a bow in my hand in you know, three, four years. I'm supposed to have some fun. Your name, amen. 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 Your sensibilities, all the rules that make us society want to misbehave, want to set you free. I want to break you. <laughs> Same color in your eyes, all your thoughts to pray. Uncivilized, have we both gone mad trying to disguise our true nature? Thank you, brother. It's just the team of guys that we have is just pretty epic. If there's any way that we can inspire people to enjoy the outdoors and hunting and anything like that, that's at the top of the list for me. Everybody in, guys. Everybody in. Uh, dear Lord, thank you so much for family and friends and relationships that we have in the woods. It's just something special. Help us to have a great day today. Yesterday was so awesome. We, uh, man, you blessed us in so many ways. So we're going to go out there, keep us safe, and uh, man, help us to be humble and nice to anybody we run into. In your name, amen. 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 Say we get you at the bottom of that hose from that big bladder and like <laughs> just put it up to your mouth and I'll open that valve on the top <laughs> and just see what happens. I'm saying I stand on one end and you jump on the other. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Those things are so tight. <laughs> Cody has to <laughs> has to grease the inside things of those up, get on the top of his overlander and jump into him in the morning just to get into his pants. Who says it? <laughs> So that's not the herd that we've been after. We've, apparently it's not anyway, because it has actually two bulls in it. Cody saw them last night. They're like four points, two, four, and a three point, or smaller bulls, but branch bulls. So there was probably, what, 18, 15 elk or something. That's not the herd that we're after. So we're gonna back out of here, try to go see if we can't find that same, yeah, 
he saw three cows and like two legal bulls last night. So keep moving. Hey, that was another learning experience, though, wasn't it? It was good. Good. It was that. Boom. There they are. Yeah. Bull draw again. Yeah. side. Two bulls. That's them. They're decent. Five points. Right in the very bottom. Same walking up the hill. I mean, they're spooked. We got I know. But they're going to be... So our play is these bulls are going up the other side of this unit. From us coming out to this landing and parking, so Cody's gonna stay. Watch where they go up and flag us. We're gonna go around the other side, and try and cut them off on the road. I don't, I don't know. Not a lot to say. Well, <laughs> this is all we've got. So we're doing. It. Don't worry, I got that. trotting. <laughs> I think the game's over. What's that? Bears right here. Yeah, we just did. How far? Like 30 yards right there. <laughs> it's too far. the biggest motliest crew you ever seen in your life. We're bear hunting, we're elk hunting, we don't know what we're doing. Spooking them. That's the one we saw on the road. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think it was the same one. I could when we got out of the truck, I could hear it oh, you could. next to us. Oh. Okay, well, that didn't work. Regame plan. Problem is we had to come in and they could have seen that you know up there. It was a full day of nothing. <laughs> They're full draw this morning. Robbie just left his arrow at the target. He was proud of it. He was. We are dropping back into the swamp. We're gonna attack it from both ends. So we're gonna either meet in the middle or kill one before that. Hopefully kill two before that. I'm going to um Let's you know, get off the phone. No, we're headed. We're gonna drop back in. See those bulls yesterday that we got on. They are still around the same place we think. So we are gonna. It's the evening after. So that was yesterday morning that we dropped in on these bulls, and so we're gonna try to drop in on them today. See if we can't mix it up just a little bit. Get one of those weary guys in, or hopefully there's a bull that's down here ready to play. That's what we want. Some bugle activity. So that's what we're doing this evening and possibly taking quite a few breaks to relieve ourselves because my stomach is not happy. But, I mean, if they're in the bottom or across, we're golden. You know, it's just like if they're at this level on this side. And if they're above us, we just shoot past them and then it's like fishing for a biter you just gotta keep trolling 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 well this is the look of depression <laughs> defeat yeah day two and i'm done i'm done we've gone an hour of hunting we haven't heard or seen an elk so it's pretty dismal season's over everyone over here is just like oh man i'm at a loss <laughs> Bit at full draw three times this weekend. We just gotta loose an arrow. That's all we gotta do. Get one down range. Tomorrow's the day because we gotta head about a mile and a half 
Yeah, I don't know how far it is. It's a ways. Back and then up to the pickup. We thought there'd be elk somewhere in this whole little swath that we came down here. We can't get anything to talk. We haven't bumped anything. We haven't seen anything. But there's sign around. There's elk sign. But they're just either not very vocal tonight or they're not here at all. I don't know. Trapper and the guys were supposed to meet us on the other end, supposed to come in from a whole other spot. I'm not so sure that they did. By that, I mean, I don't think they did. Maybe they did, I don't know. Any votes? Steve was like, yeah, I'll meet you guys down there. I don't know. I voted they didn't. I voted Trevor went, uh, Steve, let's just do this easy hunt. But maybe not, I don't know. So we're almost down into the swamp here. We just heard a couple bugles. We think it's, we, well, we know here, Cody. We heard another bugle. We're not sure if it's Trent and Cody or if it's another bull. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill out here and uh, see if we can start identifying what's what before we drop in and like lose our, our sound advantage. Here. So see what the sun is. Yeah. That's where they need to be done. I'm right here. It's just solid, wet mud. And You'd have to go all the way up that draw. 
and then button hook back around to get to it. There's no other way to eat there except walk out here. I tried to get across there to get in that. So maybe we we'll suck him in here. What was the crash we were bare? There's something. There's I think there's more out there. I think when we spooked the oak the first time, the little herd went over there. And the rest went that way. Oh, and then they were coming back down. spotted those cows feeding. I, I did everything I could to get across that dude, but I would have had to walk 100 yards, 100, 200 yards with that rod to get past that mud. He's a nice black one. And then I heard bye about bye. a vehicle up here. Did you? Bye bye five. Is it that one? I just saw him face on. I have no idea. It's black horns. That's just nice bull. Nice bull. It's tough with how muddy it is, how wet. If, if that would have been dry, we would have been in front of that bowl. That was fun. Oh, yeah. I didn't, didn't like the bed. I mean, give us a little time. I think if we would have been five minutes earlier, we could have dropped lower when we first heard him. We would have got, we would have got shot. shot. Well, we learned that as soon as we hear him coming, we just run to down. the bottom. We're alive. Oh, guys, bittersweet. We had opening weekend, a lot of close calls this weekend. It was really fun. But um, I got to go back to work tomorrow. So um, Steve and I are packing up. We are uh, going to head out. The rest of the boys are going to stay here and uh, try to get it done tomorrow. So uh, guys, everyone leave a comment below. Wish Wyatt luck uh, for tomorrow. Let's see if we can get him a bowl. Um, We'll be back up probably tomorrow evening if we can make it happen. And uh, we'll see you then. Good night. Got up early this morning, drove to a whole new location. We are headed into some bottoms again, dropping down into the very bottom. Um, last night, Chase and Trevor, Steve, and Robbie got on some elk last night so no shots but we think we know where those elk are going so we are trying to head them off so we went a whole new road system dropping down hopefully the elk will be there hopefully like in that bottom you can hear them pretty good in that skunk cabbage and that nasty stuff so the only fear is like right now if you look at it the fog and all this marine layer and everything is sucking down in so we just got to be very very cognizant of the wind that's going to be our biggest issue is the wind this morning so but we're hunting another day, day three. Let's do it. Normally like coming down in here, I would like bugle my way down, but this morning I wanted to just be as quiet as possible just to hear them first. So wind is gonna be the key factor today. It's blowing down this drainage as it as it sucks out this bog. So my plan was to hunt up this drainage, but we just heard a bugle down the drain. Not good. So we'll see. I don't know. We're going to figure out how to play this. I'm not sure what to do right now. We're just going to kind of just sit here for a second and see what we can hear. Kind of if we can pinpoint things right now. Not even bugling out. That's smart. We're going to break the cardinal, the cardinal roll here. There's a bugle that direction. Now we're not going to go after it. Got a lot of eggs in this basket. <laughs> All our eggs. No, 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 no. Let's see if it pays off. Let's see if it pays off. What if the Easter Bunny's down here, though? <laughs> yeah. Now that could be the golden goose. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go find some help.
sounds good, but see these two trees right in front of us, the two in front of these behind, kind of directly behind those, if you came from right in this trail, I think we could get up to that tree with the thing coming out of the base of it. Here we are. We've walked how many? 3.2 miles? 3.2. 3.2 miles and gotta go back. Big goose egg. So we gotta turn around and go all the way back. Where we heard that bugle right away. Right where we heard the only bugle of the day. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> 3.2 miles is about this. Yeah, it's thick. Yeah. In places it's pretty fun. There's no thorns at all. Isn't that cheese? What's on the menu? Not cheese. Robbie got some weird gas station cheese. Gas station cheese. <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely edible. It's not like it's it's kind of it tastes like spray cheese, but mm. in real cheese form. Yeah. Mm. It's not that great. <laughs> By Hickory Farms. <laughs> I don't know if we're eating it right. Just made it through. We're gonna go try something brand new. We haven't hunted this area at all, so we're looking at Onyx, and you can basically have a bunch of different heads of drainages all come together off this one finger. So give us a good ability to sound check tonight. See if we can't get one fired up. They struggled in the swamp this morning. Heard one bull and called one of their in. No shots fired. Day three, still lots of time left. We've had too many close calls to not get one kill. Tonight, tonight, Steve. Oh yeah. Oh, God. Get ahead. It'll be fun to check out some new draws and stuff that we've never hunted, so I'm excited. Just covering ground and finding those, hitting those little, those little pockets where they could be. It'll be fun. So far what we found, the bulls we've been on have all come in silent. So you gotta give it more time in your setup and just hope the wind's going in the right direction because you don't know where they could be coming from. So we're giving it you know half hour to 40 minutes and we set up call. Hoping here stick pop. about 
45 minutes daylight left. We figured it's about, about two miles back to the truck. So instead, we're gonna drop off and uh, try to get picked up on the other side. It's a risky move. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. Hey, name, name that movie in the comments below. It's a bold move, Cotton. Do you know? Don't say it. Yeah, I do. Hello, campers. All right, Wyatt's last evening. This is day three. He's got to go back and school's getting started and he's got to do some work and stuff like that. So this is his last day. So, Viewers, this is his last evening. Say a little prayer for Wyatt tonight. We're just going to try to hit some stuff that we've seen some elk in the last couple days. Hopefully, like, remember all those cows that he came to full draw on? Show the clip. Yeah, we're gonna try and see if we can't relocate those cows and then hopefully a bull has showed up with them. We don't know, so we're just gonna throw the old Hail Mary and see what happens here. As bittersweet as it was, the guys had to pack up and head out for the next hunts. Wyatt and his buddies headed for the hills for a couple of days to try and get it done. They even filmed this hunt and we are fortunate enough to be able to share the footage with you guys. Enjoy. Today's special guest, Mr. White Fisher. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going. I'm so ready. We made her. Okay. Wyatt, what do we got going on, dude? Oh, uh, we're getting set up. It's uh, the long-awaited elk camp, but it is here. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna set up camp and then hopefully do a little hunt tonight at least. Hopefully at least locate some. And uh, have a jolly old time. Oh yeah. We got it all loaded. <laughs> we got it all loaded up. Shane, you ready, sir? Uh, we'll see. I'm more ready than ready gets. Oh man. Huh? I think we need some more stuff in here, boys. We're uh, we're on the road. We're gonna go hunt here, so we'll see what we can find. I think Mike got shot off down that five point pole, but we're gonna go see if he hit it. If he did, it was full pass through because he grabbed his arrow. I seen that, so I don't know what the scoop is, so let's go find out. The bull ran into the timber. I was filming up here from the ridge, and uh, it's a four by five, I think. It's, it was hard to tell because he was in a really thick blackberry bunch, and they put a stalk on him all the way down the line of the uh, sorry, I'm shipping off <laughs> of the unit, the timber line, and there's a little. Looks like a little elk shell. It goes all the way down and they followed it and called the bull in the 30. So let's hope he's dead. See, Did no, you? I, 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 hit him, I hit him a little back, but Shane got another throw in him. So you might hear him crash. 
You heard him crash? We. Oui. You all right, bud? No, we we heard him go down. That a boy. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. You all right? Yeah. Just take a second. Take a second and just sit back and, and enjoy it and compose yourself. And um, yeah, you did a good job. You did a good job. Is it a nice one? It's, I think it's a good five point. Or it could be a four point. I, I just knew he had at least three and I, I shot him. Good. Good deal. Good deal. I'm, I'm super proud of you, bub. I'm super proud of you. <sighs> <laughs> You a little bit shaken? I wasn't still, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm shaking. <laughs> Good job, bud. I'm proud of you. You you hit him a little. How far was the shot? It was, it was 20 yards, but I count called and he stopped and I went to squeeze and he, and he walked just a little bit and a little back, but Shane got a good, good shot on him. So he's. Okay, do you got all do you do you, do you think do you know he's dead? Yeah, we, we heard him crash. We have we just been waiting now. We haven't heard him since, so How long ago did you shoot? Uh I mean like half an hour ago, forty five minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well it should be if you heard him crash and it's been forty five minutes, you guys should probably go check the arrow, go check right where you shot first and just go real, real slow, okay? Yeah, I will. All right. Um, do you have game bags and everything? Yeah, we got everything we need. Okay. All right. Uh, you remember oh. remember how to break them down, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm super proud of you, son. Super proud of you. You went out and did uh, it. Turn, you, went, you did it. It turns out your meat freezer is coming handy tonight. What is that? Turns out your meat freezer is going to come in handy tonight. I hope so. I hope so. You better beat Trevor and Steve there because Steve killed them. Yep. Got to start hanging stuff in that meat cooler and use the rope or do whatever you have to do, son. All right. You know how to do the rest, okay? I love you. Yep. Love you, Dad. I love you, too. I'll see you when you get back. I will. All right, bud. We'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. We just got a bowl. We just. <laughs> oh, it's the chainers. That's yeah. Quiet. Quiet. Dude, we got a bowl. Oh, shoot. You're bad. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh, we just. We just got a bowl, dude. We just. Oh, oh dude. Wait, just... go get him, dude. Oh, oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Dude, give me a hug, dude. Good find, brother. Good find, brother. Oh, oh, dude, I can't believe it. That's an awesome bull, guys. That's an awesome. Wait, give me a hug, dude. Oh, that's a money shot, guys. I'm so proud of you guys. That is so awesome. My shot's not. It's not great, but it's. That second shot's perfect. I can't believe that. So look at. Yeah, he is a he's a four by five like I thought. Cool. Perfect. Get your hands on him, dude. Shane, good job, buddy. Good job, guys. Oh, I can't believe it. Ooh, okay. I can't believe that hunt. Good find. Good job, guys. That is so awesome. I can't believe that. <sighs> Wyatt, good job, guys. Dude, that's a sweet bull. <sighs> oh my gosh. Good job, guys. I'm so happy. It's going to be a long night, but well worth it. Oh, my. Oh, Shane, feelings. Tell me. Come on. God is really, really good. Yeah, he is. God is good. Wyatt. Can you believe this, dude? We well, can put a ring on that. That's a five by five. <laughs> That's a five. I, don't know what you're I can't believe that. That's a sweet bull. Wow. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Wow. Look at that. That's a sweet bull, guys. Nice job. Oh. Yeah, we were coming down here and we found some blood and. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Shane. Oh, thank you, bud. Good job, guys. I love you guys. That's so awesome. Dude. Look at that. Quiet. Action. Give me another one. Third one, dude. I can't, I can't believe that. Good shooting, buddy. Good shooting. Good job. I know it's not exactly where you wanted to hit, but that's fine. He took that step as soon as... Oh, it's okay. 
Shane, dude, come here, give me a hug, dude. Oh, we finally did it. Oh, we fu We finally did it. <laughs> You're so blessed to be able to come out here and do this. Dude, that is a sweet. God is great. That is a sweet bull. First day, actually, the first day we've been in the Elkwoods, really. This is pretty much our opening day. This is our opening this, day. This sucks because I wanted you guys to shoot one. <sighs> hey, we got three more nights. We do. Well, guys, we got them. How we, we feeling? Wyatt? <laughs> Opinions? I don't, I don't even know what to say. First night, these guys come out, and we sneak down on a bull that Shane spotted. And I shoot it, and it takes a step, and I shoot a little far back. But it's, I think we still we think we still made it in the cavity. And then Shane puts a perfect shot, of course, because, I mean, he's a pro shooter, I swear. <laughs> and it didn't go, I, I, it didn't go 100 yards, I don't think. Yeah, it buckled up pretty good but after white. Couldn't shot. find blood, and then we came down, found blood, and he was 30 yards from where he saw it. So it's an incredible way to start off our trip, and we have three more to go, and it'll get done. <laughs> All happened really quick. Yeah, that it, it was crazy because I mean. I was looking up at Malachi on the ridge, and he was over here doing hand circles and doing this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what does that mean? And then all of a sudden, I just see horns, and I go, draw back, and he stands, and he watched me just when I finaled my draw. And I got settled, and he just looking, looking, and turned, and he turned and walked, and I cow called twice, and he came right down this trail at 20 yards. I drew back again, and he stopped, and I went to anchor, and right as I was squeezing, he stepped, and I just shot. And, I mean... He's here. He's here. We got him. God is good. And we said our prayer and he answered it and we killed this thing. Many, many prayers. It's crazy. It's, I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I did not expect this. Shane spotted the bull right away when we got to the unit and those guys were putting a plan together and hopefully the video turned out well. Um, I'm just so thankful it came together and thanks yeah. for having us, Wyatt. Yeah, hey, yeah. Thank you. It's night one. We're gonna try to go out again tomorrow morning and get another one. So we're gonna get take take this guy uh take him apart and get him to the truck. Appreciate you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Yes, sir. <laughs> big shoes to fill there. Hey, They're big only shout size out. 11s. Big shout out to the old hunting public boys. Yeah. They've been slaying some bucks this year. I've been keeping up on their videos. It's yeah. It's pretty fun to watch. For someone who's never hunted whitetails, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's like those guys are straight up killers. Yeah. So, uh, guys, welcome back to another uncut here. Got the sidekick Noah today. Um, let's First off, let's give him a round of applause. Him and Chase both filmed everything this year. The edits have been just unbelievable. Pretty excited to see how these are turning out, and uh, hopefully, you guys are as well. So, hit the comment section below and tell them great job. Or bad job. Yeah. Hopefully Don't not. Lie. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and commenting and everything. It, it means the world to us. Yeah. So, um, guys, we are just here again. We're going to talk through some things. We've got a little uh, bookkeeping or a little housekeeping things to take care of. If you didn't enter yet for the Hoyt sweepstakes, that is going on now through December 23rd. You can hit the link down in the description. We're click it up right here and it takes you to a landing page on our website, enter your name and da 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 da. You can do that daily. So the more times you go to that site, the more opportunities you get your name in the hat to win. So you can enter every single day until every, the giveaway? Every single day until the giveaway. And, and tell them what they win. So <laughs> we're giving away all of our Hoyt bows that we had during the season this year that we hunted with. So uh, if you're a left hand long draw, maybe uh, maybe you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not me. Not the 26 and a half or whatever you 27. Like. 27. Okay. I'm, I'm a 32 inch draw length, so uh, yeah, that's not going to work for you. No. But uh, anyways, you guys can get entered in that. doesn't cost you anything. Just get your name in the hat as many times as you want. There's also some bonus stuff there for subscribing. Uh, you can go check out our Flyway channel too. That's, that's on there. You subscribe to that channel. We've been putting up waterfowl videos every Wednesday over on that channel. It's been super fun to see that growth and the excitement for the other passion of ours, chasing some birds. Yep. So, um, and then next up, today, we're launching our Black Bear Friday promo. So if you guys have seen that in years past, we picked two winners to come out and hunt with us uh, on the Oregon coast. 
and uh, it's been an awesome experience from the from the get-go on year one uh, this is I think this will be the sixth time now wow. that we'll have people out here hunting with us the first year we went to Montana but all the other years have been here in our backyard and we get to show you guys a little bit about where we hunt and the swamp yeah and hold on this this could be you yep so yeah last year we had Mervin and Myron out and Mervin killed an absolute giant actually one of I think our biggest bears we've ever killed ever yeah yeah and he made an incredible shot on it and uh yeah so hopefully you guys could do that so how to enter there for every dollar spent on the website now through December 14th uh get you an entry so buy a set of meat bags you're gonna get a bunch of entries buy some calls shirts whatever uh, we just really appreciate it and then also we've got a t-shirt of the month program that we launched that we're doing another giveaway for that uh, for every month you're a part of that club that membership you get entered into a blacktail hunt and it's going to be here in douglas county 2023 we just locked in some yeah. amazing opportunity to come out here and kill blacktail got the sig uh some someone from sig sour coming as well yeah. and uh they killed some absolute slobs. And if there's ever a year to rifle hunt blacktail in Oregon, it is next year. <laughs> yeah. So that could be you also. Yeah. Um, so anyways, we just really appreciate the continued support, you guys. Like without that, um, we wouldn't be able to make the content and have the team that we have and uh, bless the families that's all involved. It's pretty, pretty wild to see. When we started this thing, launched Land of the Free, Trent and I were the only ones doing it full time, and uh, now we've got a team of almost 10 people, I think. So yeah. it's it's pretty wild. It's uh, we're just super grateful for your guys' support. So yeah, and nine of them are good. <laughs> Who's the bad one? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just not gonna point fingers. Yeah. But enough with the giveaway stuff. Yep. Let's talk about the hunt. Well, first off, too, if you guys missed Thursday's video, yes, the, the raking video, what we're doing during Land of the Free, we're putting up two videos a week. On Thursday, it's going to be educational content, so jump in there. Uh, hopefully, you can pick up a tip or, tri tip or two on uh, just some tricks of the trade of what we've learned over the years, and hopefully, we bring some more value to when you go out in the woods chasing elk in September. Yeah. And if you've got any ideas on other stuff that you guys want to see, hit the comment section below and let us know. And we'll make some notes and, and get that uh, in the queue, per yeah, se. Yeah, we want to show you guys what you want to see. So leave those comments, don't be shy. Tell us exactly what would be most helpful to you as a hunter, whether you're seasoned or not. And then we want to make those videos. Definitely, the only thing that's off the table is Onyx waypoints. Like yeah. That, that, like, we're not going to share waypoints. <laughs> not real ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys. Wyatt's first archery bowl. Pretty incredible. Pretty. And it's one of those things where it's like first, but obviously he's been on a lot of hunts and Trent's his dad and all, all that, but it was. It it's was the first time he's actually had an archery elk tag though. Yeah. No. So yeah. that was kind of the, I, I remember the conversation with Trent was like, you need to kill one with a gun or a muzzle loader or something yeah. other than archery. And he did that last year. If you guys missed that video, um, you can check out that, that yeah. card right there on the top screen where Wyatt got his first bowl. Yeah. But this was pretty special. We were all bummed that we weren't there. It was but double edged. Like, exactly. So we had we knew on the schedule we have three days to get Wyatt a bowl. He's shooter number one. And it was an eventful three days. The last two were a little slower, but we still had bowls with him bow range. If that each spike day. would have had a just, <laughs> yeah. just a couple yeah. extra points. Yeah. Forked brow tines uh so the unit we were hunting is three pointer better so he couldn't shoot that spike but i still is it's imprinted visually in my head forever of seeing the shadows of the elk that was so cool before i yeah. before we spotted the elk we were walking down that we were on fresh tracks and i literally just remember the sun was just coming up and you know those steep cut banks and those clear cuts wrapped around the corner and on the, it was to the east right there and all of a sudden it was just like I saw this black thing moving and I'm like, I kind of like, it took, like the process was like the gears were starting to turn yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like, elk, 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 and I just, boom, I laid down on the ground. Yeah, it was the only morning without fog where we'd yeah. actually get the shadows and if you look, I'll roll the clip again, but if you look close, you can actually see the shadow of that spike's head come out before the bull came out and that's what Cody saw, so it was a pretty pretty heads up play. Yeah, it was, it was pretty wild, but uh, it was so close. It would have been such a great opportunity, but hey, 
just uh, never developed into a legal bull. And as soon as we leave, the young guns come in, Malachi, Hunter, yeah. Logan, um, they all had a pretty awesome experience. I think the four of them doing it themselves was probably yeah. more special in the sense, like 16 years old. Yeah, and we, like, to, so that's why there was a little bit of a break in the video and why we talked about it and whatnot, but we knew we had to leave. We knew uh, Wyatt was gonna hunt with his buddies, but we didn't know they were gonna film it. We didn't, so, you know, we end up getting this phone call, which you guys saw, which I've cried like 15 times in the last two months watching that, but we didn't know they were gonna film it. They got it on film, all this stuff. So us to be able to use that was was pretty cool. And I think it tied the whole story together pretty well. Yeah, no, it was, it was they did a great job. And uh... so on that topic, uh, Malachi, uh, that was his YouTube channel. That it was, all the footage was courtesy of him. He was kind enough to let us use it. So we kind of want to say thank you and give you something. Yeah. So we got we got him a camera. And so Malachi, I know you've been, you, you said you've been like, whatever you can get your hands on to film with at the time you're trying to film. This was one of the original cameras that we used during the first season of Land of the Free. It's mm -hmm. a Sony a6500. This is your camera now. So yeah. you got to come by the office. We'll get you set up. Yep. But uh, we're super excited. Actually, Noah had the idea of it. And I think uh, hopefully it'll lead to some good things for you. So. Yeah. so thanks again for letting us use that footage. I think everyone enjoyed getting to see a little bit of closure on, on why it's hunt. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, um, man, shout outs. Shout outs. This is one, um, reading through the comments, it was just people were so excited for the first episode. And uh, we just kind of wanted to plug this back in. And there was a couple comments that really caught my attention. Um, first one was up from John Roders. Uh, Sorry to hear about your grandpa passing on November 5th. He said it was one of the most important people in his life. He lived in Montana, an older gentleman, and uh, kind of got him in and excited about hunting and fishing and just is, is missing him. So, John, shout out to you. Sorry to hear about your loss. And uh, I know he's looking down from above for me. And then the next one is from Andrew Conway out of Canby. Um, this is a tough one because there was a tragic accident um, from Johnny and Ella, his three-year-old daughter. Johnny was headed home, I think, from work and uh, got in a car accident and him and his daughter both passed. And uh, just thinking about all you guys up there in the Canby area and uh, just prayers are with you guys. And just, uh, man, I just thinking about that's uh, a tough one. So I know his wife and his son are, are still around and, and uh, we're thinking about you guys and sorry for your loss. So just, uh, you just never know when it's your time. And uh, just, you know, we kind of always go by that motto. It's like live every day to the fullest and share your love with your loved ones and friends and, and the people that are close to you. So uh, cherish that time. And then the other one I wanted on Friday was Veterans Day. And I uh, just want to give a shout out to anyone that served uh, or is active duty now. Just uh, appreciate your guys' commitment to protect our freedoms, the land of the free, the home of the brave. All of, uh, it, it just it, it means a lot to us. Um, I never made that sacrifice in my life, and I just want to appreciate. So, and then I challenge you to pick up the phone and make a phone call to a veteran. You never know what they're going through, but tell them thank you talk to them, uh, embrace their service. And uh, so dad, thank you for your service. Appreciate it. And I love you. So. And last Thursday was a Marine Corps birthday. That's right. Marine Corps birthday. Yeah. So pretty awesome. Um, just uh, guys, Land of the Free is rolling. We're having fun. We're enjoying bringing these videos to you guys. Hopefully you guys are as well. So stay active at stay active in that comment section. We're watching, reading through, trying to engage as much as possible. If you got a shout out, let us know about it, and we'll try to try to get you included here on Land of the Free. Nothing's off the table, right? Nothing's off the table. Uh, next episode, you saw a little bleep, little little blurred out section there. Forgot to edit that out. That's yeah. gonna be my bad. Um, it's a good one. Steve and Trevor getting after it after work, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you next Monday. See you guys.